Welcome, Hogs Vloggers. Now, we're going to analyse a couple of key matchups for the next three games that are happening in the IPL 2022. And out the back end, I'm going to go through Murrigan Ashwin's action and also Jaswell, uh, Jaswell's running between the wickets because it was diabolical the other night. And also his attitude to Boomer as well. I just want to have a quick look at that as well. So uh, stay tuned out the back end if you want to hear what I've got to say about young Jaswell. But firstly, the key matchup between the Rajasthan Royals and RCB is Butler. He made 100 the other night and it was brilliant. But he struggled against left arm swing bowling into the body. Anything pitched on leg, he didn't want to uh, didn't want to attack. And anything pitched on the stumps around about knee height, he doesn't really have that power to hit through mid-wicket. So you've got to attack him out middle and off stump if you're bowling right arm over the wicket. Left arm over the wicket, you're trying to bring the ball in. Every now and then, if you're going to err outside off stump, you go wide because he doesn't move his feet and he's got to reach the ball as well. But if you put it on off stump or just outside off stump, you're going the journey either straight or through cow corner. So you've got to be, uh, you've got to keep it out of that hitting zone. So Hazelwood will be very good against um, Butler. That's if he plays. And Siraj, the way that he's bowling now, he's getting the ball to cut back into the right-handers and he likes to attack that middle leg stump line. So he'll be excellent against uh, Butler. And I'm really looking forward to Harsha Patel with his slower uh, balls, his change of pace, but also he's prepared to bowl a bouncer uh, as well as wider slower balls and attack with the Yorker. He is very, very deceptive. And he's a lot better than Pollard uh, with, with that deception. And Pollard uh, caused a few issues for Butler trying to get that momentum in his innings last uh, last game. So Patel could be a key matchup. And he's not that good against leg spin apparently. So Harasunga could be a good option as well. But I prefer the fast bowlers attacking that uh, middle and leg line. David Willey, if he plays opening the bowling, I'd give him two overs up front to Butler. And uh, if he can do the job there, bring the ball back in, might be able to get him LBW. But after that, in the middle overs, ladder overs, don't bowl Willie to Butler if he's still in because that could be a little bit of carnage. Butler giving himself a little bit of room and hitting straight. So that's the big one in that game. Uh, also, I'm looking at the Rajasthan Royals bowlers. Yes, bolts there. Uh, they don't really have any pace in, in their attack. And up against the likes of Faf de Plessy, Coley up top, they're going to be put under extreme pressure. Uh, but if they get a few early wickets, uh, Rajasthan Rawls will get on top. But they're, t they're bowling against Faf de Plessy and Coley up top, the first three. Uh, that's going to be a big test for the Rajasthan Rawls. And that's uh, going to be a deciding factor for me to see where Rajasthan are this year because their bowling is probably their weak link. Okay, KKR are up against the Mumbai Indians. The other night, Andre Russell, the big hitter, he struggled against Harsha Patel with that slower pace, uh, with, a, with a pace off. And the way that Patel was attacking the different lines, Andre Russell was bamboozled. I don't see anyone apart from Mills in the Mumbai Indians attack that can uh, do the same job against Andre Russell and Boomer with his quick Yorkers. They are the only two bowlers that will have a dominant matchup against Andre Russell. So they hope that they've got those spare overs at the back end for those two bowlers just to uh, attack Andre Russell and keep him quiet, get him out early, and that's that's KKR done, and Mumbai Indians might have a chance of winning a game. Just unbelievable Andre Russell, the power hitting that he has when bowlers get it wrong, they fear him. You can't go into Andre Russell fearing his power. You've got to back yourself. Um, also, Venkatesh Iyer. He's going to be up against Boomer, and Boomer's starting to get that ball to shape away nicely from the left-handers. Now, if he starts it on middle, uh, middle and leg, taking across uh, Venkatesh Iyer, and then you've got Sam's at the other end swinging it away, I don't think Venkatesh Iyer 
will play a heavy uh, or have a huge impact in this game. His footwork is not solid at the moment. He seems to be late with his footwork. Uh, and he's also playing from the crease and he's playing away from his body a lot more than he was last year. And that's opening up the, uh, the, the blade. So he's only giving the, uh, the, the ball three quarters of a bat, uh, if you can see that. Or oh, there you go. He's on an angle. And that's going to feed the slips. And he's playing everything through point region. So you could have a deep point, cover that up, and he'll be trying to hit a little bit straighter, and that will be his downfall. Venkatesh Iyer. That's another matchup. Okay, let's go to the Delhi Capitals because this one's going to be an interesting one. You've got Avish Khan up against his old team. Now, Avish Khan doesn't have the likes of Norky around him, that extra pace to put pressure on the opposition teams. He's the main bowler in this Lucknow team. And Ricky Ponting is going to know that. And Ricky Ponting is going to tell his team to put Avish Khan under pressure because... Now that he's got the weight of the shoulder on his shoulders as the main strike bowler, um, it's a different role for him. So in that different role, you put him under pressure, all of a sudden uh, he leaks runs and then the other bowlers who are not that experienced will be under pressure. And the other thing is too, if David Warner's uh, available for selection, I wouldn't pick him. I'd stick with uh, Seifert in the team and I'd have a list of right-handers uh, to, to face Bishnoi. Bishnoi, with his wrong and very dominant against left-handed bat. That's his strength. You take that strength away, you play for the wrong end, and you can uh, you can be a little bit more aggressive against Bishnoi as a right-handed combination. So uh, that's what I'm looking forward to watching in the Lucknow uh, game. And uh, Norky back for the Delhi Capitals. This is a big one. If he's available, I'm hoping he's back. And uh, Rahul and De Kock out the top, they're going to struggle against Norky because he's fresh. He'll be raring to go with that extra pace. Uh, he's going to balance this Delhi Capitals lineup out. And uh, I think Delhi Capitals are going to put luck now on the back foot. Norky coming back in the team. A better, better balance lineup and uh, they're going to move forward. Right now, what we're talking about earlier are Murrigan Ashwin. Just look at this little bit of footage uh, or a couple of photos. His run up is nice and straight to the crease. I love that. But when he lets go of the ball, he's over the perpendicular. And when he lets go of the ball, the follow-through goes away from the line that he's delivered the ball. So he's going out towards cover. So he's virtually just coming straight off the wicket. There's no momentum going straight down the crease. That's why he's not getting any drift, any drop, anything on the ball. And if he wants to bowl quicker or slower – it's going to be a lot more difficult for him than other leg spinners who have a stronger follow-through down the crease. Um, so for that, that's why he's a little bit inconsistent with his line and length, and that's why he's getting punished at the present moment because he doesn't have enough on the ball. So he can work on a follow-through after this IPL, or he can even work on it through this IPL. Now, uh, Jaswell, let's just take a look at his running because this was abysmal. First over against Boomer. Um, Butler's facing, fifth ball, Butler gets wrapped on the pads, the ball drops into the offside, Jaswell does not want to take the run. You've got to take those runs. You can't fear the bowler out the other end. You've got to take him on. You're a young man getting an opportunity, any opportunity you take to face the best, you take it. And uh, that was the first over. The second over... He's facing Sams. He gets on the back foot. He pushes it out to point, takes one. Great running between the wickets. But then the third over against Boomer. There's a little uh, chance of a run. They take it. But look out Jaswell here. He's got both hands on the bat in front of him while he's trying to, try to take the run. Then he moves the bat and puts it into both hands like that. And he's running down the crease as such. You can't run like that. You've got to have the bat in one hand. The other hand free and run like a sprinter. And you get from A to B as you uh, possibly uh, as quickly as you possibly can and don't give a chance of um, the fielding team of having an easy run out. So Jaswell can work on his running between the wickets. But guys, I hope you really enjoyed the vlog. Um, and there's a few tips there to help you out. Um, but let's just keep enjoying the IPL. I'm loving it. 
you should be loving it too. Thanks, guys. Bye.